This is the standard US Filter Max centrifuge controller. It's a 3000 for the 3000G unit. Um, it's 240 volts. It comes with uh, heater circuits. You can get a 1500 watt circuit or you can get a 3000 watt circuit. Uh, basically, turn it on. The first meter is set uh, run time. These are hours, 3.23 hours. But if you want to change it, you just push the buttons and push it up uh, to whatever. Say that's 7. Now you're at 7.23. Uh, the hours in the first part, the last part is tenths of an hour, so that's 0.23 of an hour. The next one is set in minutes. This is cycle time between dumps. Uh, when the centrifuge dumps all the sludge out, uh, this one is set for 90 minutes. It's at 89 minutes and 28 seconds now. Uh, this last one is the heater. And this heater cycles on and off also with the, uh, the motor time. See, it's switched over to heat. Um, it's set for 72, which is around 160 centigrade. I mean, Fahrenheit is 72 centigrade. That's about 160 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. You can adjust that the same way as these. Just push it up and down. And right here in the room, it's 23.4 degrees. Um, you have a thermocouple probe that goes into your heater, and that um, is what controls your set temperature. And you can always bypass the heater like that. Turn it off. Next, we'll look at the US Filter Max uh, variable speed centrifuge controller. This is the US Filter Max variable speed centrifuge controller. It's uh, just like the other one, it's got a few other features. Um, hour runtime here, I uh, set on 2.23. You want to adjust it up, you just bump it. Say so it's set on 7.23. This is hours, push the, that MD key and it locks it back. Um, it gives you hours. This is a single shot. When it reaches the end of 7.23 hours, the whole unit's going to shut down. It's the same on the standard controller. This is our cycle time to dump. This is in minutes right here. Um, at the end of 85 minutes, the centrifuge will shut down and the heater will shut down. And, um, the centrifuge will dump the sludge and it'll dump for four minutes and then it'll start back up. This is a perpetually cycling unit as long as the run time is set. The heater comes on. It's set for 71.5, which is roughly about 160 Fahrenheit. This is in centigrade. You can see in here it's uh, 21 degrees right now, 21 centigrade right now in here. These two inputs here are data inputs. Um, this one is for the variable speed. You can run the centrifuge up from 3,000 Gs. You can push it up to 6,000 Gs or higher. Um, with this one, this is the input for the flow control. There's a sensor in the, in the heater, and when the, there's no flow, then the, uh, the sensor will shut down this unit. It'll bypass it. It won't actually turn this off. It'll just come up with a bypass right here and shut it down. And just like the other centrifuge, the, we've got a probe here that goes into the, the actual heater unit. I don't know if you saw that. I'll bring it over. It's this thermocouple that goes into the heater unit. Um, this last button over here, this is the, um, it activates the, uh, the run cycle here for the uh, variable speed controller. So you can actually, it'll be powered up. You can actually turn it off, turn off the signal to the, to the controller that'll uh, power down the, the centrifuge or turn on, it'll power it up and it'll run at a preset speed, which is adjustable. Like I said, you can push it all the way up over 6,000 Gs if you want. Um, standard, standard force is, is 3,000 Gs. And that sums up the US Filter Max variable speed centrifuge controller.